On Friday, the 13th of February, after another round of high-spirited debate, the House votes 246 to 183. Once again, Jeff Flake and his fellow Republicans all vote against the bill. Here we are with 1,100 pages. 1,100 pages that not one member of this body has read. Not one. Not one member has read this. What happened to the promise that we're going to let the American people see what's in this bill for 48 hours? But no, we don't have time to do that. Look at this bill. I mean, this, I mean, this was written in the middle of the night, and nobody's had a chance to really read it in detail. The language in here is going to radically change the direction of our government. That's not the way. Now we have a president of the other party, and we want to work with him, but we're not required to vote with him when we think he's wrong. You know, our numbers in the House are 178 strong. Mm -hmm. uh, Speaker, Speaker Pelosi has indicated she doesn't need our votes. Suggestion that 13 bucks a week is the biggest middle class tax cut in American history is nonsense. Every single House Republican, joined by nearly a dozen Democrats in the House voted against a misguided House spending. We saw again not a single Republican in the House voted for You're this. Right. The House, there was not a single Republican uh, two times. The vote proved to be a psychological setback for the administration, a boost for Republicans in the Senate. When the House stood together, uh, that's really where the courage starts here, and I think that courage has been contagious. It encouraged a lot of us over here to keep working. And, uh, I thought the president said this bill to stimulate our economy was about jobs, 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 but instead it's about spend, spend, spend.